welcome to the Tourism News Wrap. My name is Jason Amu. Coming up, UNWTO delegation visits Tunisia. Cabo Verde launches digital program to scale up tourism offering. And Limpopo Tourism Agency unveils summer campaign. The Secretary General of the World Tourism Organization, Zurapul Kajvili, on Thursday, 26 November, conferred with the President of Tunisia, His Excellency Kaye Said in Carthage, Tunisia. Mr. Pulukajvili, as part of his support to UNWTO member states in the restart of tourism, has been making in-person visits to member countries. In a meeting with the President, the UN Tourism Chief re-echoed tourism's role in reinforcing broader recovery efforts. He assured the country of UNWTO's full support as it advances towards the responsible and sustainable restart of tourism very supportive and committed to the sector and this is very important for all of us under his leadership and leadership of the uh, minister we are going to have numbers of interesting projects yesterday we signed a uh, very concrete agreement with EBRD to support post-covid uh, promotion of and digital promotion of uh, Tunisia to be ready to restart tourism and I'm sure that Tunisia will be one of the first destinations where people will start traveling. Why? Because it's safe, it, it has um, readiness to receive uh, tourists and all protocols and measures are fulfilled. Cabo Verde's Ministry of Tourism and Transportation has launched remote working program and digital nomads aimed at diversifying and deconcentrating the supply of Cape Verdean tourist products, growth with sustainability and maximizing the positive effects of tourism on families and businesses and venues at an event attended by Prime Minister Jose Ulysses Correa y Silva. The launch which coincided with the celebration of Cape Verde Digital's first anniversary, which gathered several sector stakeholders, falls within the government's view of developing tourism based on diversification and devolution of the offer of tourism in Cabo Green. The Minister of Tourism and Transport, Carlos Santos Santos, said, Remote working is a product that is being launched in the context of resumption of tourism with the emphasis on diversifying the Cape Verdean tourism offering. Limpopo Tourism Agency and its partners this week launched the much-anticipated Limpopo summer campaign at the Shell Filling Station N1 North, Polokwane. The Limpopo Summer Campaign 2020 will headline activities leading to the festive season to promote and drive domestic tourism and Limpopo's contribution to the tourism trips as well as regain the domestic market. The focus is to showcase Limpopo as a sustainable holiday destination for the summer season as well as welcome those Limpopo citizens who may have stayed away in the past seven months owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking on the Tourism News Wrap, the marketing manager of LTA had this to say. The summer campaign uh, is a way of uh, welcoming summer as well as um, dealing especially with the um, larger group of people who are visiting um, friends and relatives who mainly make their way to the Bobo during the uh, summer season. We also want to show the readiness of the Bobo um, to have opened most of the tourism uh, products and uh, activities after the long lockdowns that we have had uh, from lockdown 5 until uh, lockdown level 4 uh, because of the COVID uh, pandemic. The idea is to drive more uh, domestic tourism into uh, Limpopo to encourage people who ordinarily would have taken uh, opportunities to go outside the country to come and visit a uh, part of Limpopo wherein they will be able to spend uh, equally good time and uh, uh, holiday seasons uh, in December and uh, going up to January. The Uganda Civil Aviation Authority, UCAA, has opened part of the first floor of the new terminal building to facilitate departing passengers with adequate space at the check-in counters while observing the necessary standard operating procedures. The revelation was made by the Acting Director General of UCAA, Mr. Fred Bangwisije, during a media tour of the completed passenger facilities at Entebbe International Airport. 
We have had to open because really what we are looking for is adequate space for our passengers for COVID-19 guidelines observance, such as social distancing, since the number of passengers keeps on increasing. With the old facility, we were handling 2 million passengers a year, and this new departure passenger terminal will handle at least more than 3 million passengers a year, since the number of flights per day also increased from one flight airline per day to at least two per day for the operators that were previously having many daily flights, he explained. On Monday 7 December, UNWTO Africa will host a webinar on leveraging innovative technology and digital solutions for the tourism sector in Africa. Moderating this event will be Elsia Gankou, Director, Regional Department for Africa World Tourism Organization. Speakers include Thomas Mueller, founder and CEO of Rainmaker Travel, Amin Youssef, co-founder and CEO of Afrobytes, Ama Jampo, co-founder and CEO of Scale Up Africa, Eitemi Popo, chief experience curator at Girls Trip Tours, and Natalia Bayona, director for innovation, education, and investment at UNWTO. To participate in this webinar, visit www.unwto.org. There's more news on www.voyageafrique.com and all our social media platforms. My name is Jason Amu.